Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Colgate Raiders and the Baylor Bears. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Bears are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Next, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Thirdly, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Can't get the shot to go. And up and sinks the shot. I think right now, I'm gonna focus defensively. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Jackson pump fakes. Fakes the shot. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him, and I'd see what happens. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Entry. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Combs steps to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. He nails the bucket. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Combs handles the feed. Shivers pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. And there they miss one. Secures the board. They need to get out and run their lanes now. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They go into the low block. The skip pass is picked off for two. Perfectly executed. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. And he'll kick it back outside. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Baylor have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. The power forward handles the pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the deep. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They'd like to get it inside with a low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Way off target. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Tries for two. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. 
He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. The small forward receives the pass. Penetrates and kicks back from three-point territory. Off the rim and no good. Puts it up, looking for contact. That helps got to come quicker. Hey, very slow on a double team, Brad. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He better get rid of it. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Now trying to feed the low block. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. On the outside, the power forward receives the ball. Trying to draw some contact. Baylor are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Moving it around the perimeter. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Ten seconds to get a shot off. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. He keeps his dribble as they reset. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. He drains the shot. Down inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Try to feed the low block for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Looking for the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> There's a whistle and a foul. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Looking for a good shot. The shot from the baseline. That's good. He bombs from outside, way off target. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Tries for two, up and in. And a momentary look from three-point land. 
Bears have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Puts up the tray. He drains it. Up and inside. Shivers in the paint. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. That's basic. He looks for the bomb. The Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Now he's on fire. They work the perimeter. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. All right, thanks, Aaron. High post flashes for the opportunity. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Up and inside. Gave it up. He shoots. Off the rim and no good. Tinsley is feeling good. Hey, Brad. I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. He rejects it. Well, this isn't the contest we expected so far. This is turning into a blowout, baby. Somebody better find some heart and start doing the little things. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. High post flashes. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Defensive play anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. They're pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's a flash from the high post. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Looks at the three. Drains the shot. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He keeps his dribble long enough to run his guy off the screen and slide in for the nice deuce. Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's the trap. Stolen away. Jackson's mediocre play has really gotten to him. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. There's a double team waiting there. Dick, are we witnessing the beginning of a blowout here? We are if things don't change in a hurry. Boy, terrible execution on offense. They work it around. 
inside the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from right of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. Out there doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Lobs it. Blank. Count it, and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. Baylor are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits it. Team now, bad angle. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He nails the shot. the shot it's good let's see it if the replay does not any justice Nick a great battle down on the low post but I think the offense is gaining ground here yeah, he's getting great inside position has the great angle he's got him set up perfectly for a basket they get the 45 degree angle which is essential in entering the ball to the post Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the outside. On the outside. He puts up the tray. There was no doubt about that one. They work it around the perimeter. He looks for three. The Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On 
on the dribble gives it up here's the three ball the Bears have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment Daddy's on fire working it around the perimeter and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot Inside. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vital, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. From way outside. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got them at their mercy with the threes, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Here they go into transition. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way, and you spin back the other way. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. For the bucket, can't get the shot to go. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. In and out. Makes it. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he'll kick it back outside. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. At the end of the first half, the Bears lead by 29. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Baylor is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the lock. 
Patience and poise usually equals points. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Oh, yes! They work it around the perimeter. Sets the screen for his teammate. Way off target. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Gave it up. Got some room. High post flasher is open. Nice high post squeeze. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Here's a flash from the post up high. the dribble gives it up he tries a three ball he gets the shot to fall steals the ball the center gets the ball there's the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. Second call approaching. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. to get the D to bite. He draws a foul. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Dumps it in. Steals the pass. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. The shooting guard takes the feed. Off the rim and no good. The power forward gets the pass. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He up fakes. For two. 
I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He buries it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Up fake. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. The shooting guard takes the pass. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Got a man in high post. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Working it around the perimeter. Get that sucker out of the game, man. High post flashes for the ball handler. He comes away with it. Look at that spacing. Great defense. High post player flashing. Here's a double team. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. He makes his second shot. Baylor is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He drains the bucket. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. There's the trap. The small forward with the ball. Obvious foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets his first. Gets his second. Looking for a good shot. Fakes the jumper. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. 
for the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Up and inside. He throws it up from downtown. He can't miss. And the shot man's feeling it, Brad. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. And he'll kick it back outside. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hoped for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from long range. This one has really gotten ugly, my friend. Yeah, it's all but over unless things change in a hurry. Gave it up. It's stolen. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Goes up for two. Now they work it around the perimeter. They move it into the front court. Now the kick out. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He shoots. The Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And clean. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. That's a 10 0 run. about ready for play to resume. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. It's stolen. What a great strip. Trying to draw the foul. Momentary look from three-point land. Shoots. It sticks. Another turnover. I'm not talking about the turnovers either. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. One too many dribbles and a steal for two. Up, easy one. He shoots from downtown. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby.
They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. And he'll kick it back outside. With the fake. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Good job defensively. They're working around the arc. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He goes for three. Gets it to fall. Putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He's going nowhere. Ball well, stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Going to eliminate those turnovers. That's a 9 nothing run. Working it around the perimeter. Oh, what a strip, Red. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. It drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Makes the shot. There's the pick. different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Up and inside. There's the pick. There's he rejects it. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. With a deep shot from outside. The Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The center takes the pass in the paint. Up and in.
Controlling the ball. Fires it. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen ball. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. Basic. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. We'll take the shot. Rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Tries for two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Now the high screen. Picks off the pass. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart tickles a twine good job defensively they just won't give many openings pressure in the basketball Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. perimeter I think he's trying to throw his opponent off his game by taunting him oh, oh Brad he's taunting his opponent here's a nice face up down on the low block oh he did a great job face up and then just attacked him to the basket shot clock is dead Takes away the pass. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively.
And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital N. The Bears played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first-round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody.